nine o'clock in the morning and I'm here picking up my dinner. <laughs> if you want to know what I mean, then keep on watching. What's up universe? It's Julie, your kitchen coach and welcome back to our channel. And in case you're new here, I'm a trained chef who's passionate about helping beginner cooks gain confidence in the kitchen. And that's why I was always curious about doing those kind of meal kits. You know, there's so many companies that do them, right? But I was like, that's kind of cool. The concept that all the ingredients are measured out, prepped out for you, and the instructions are there. So you don't have to go grocery shopping. This is not sponsored, but I was very curious to try it because my friend Audrey has one to offer me. She just wants me to pick it up and letting me try it out. So I'm going to drop this guy off at school and then pick it up. Okay, I just dropped him off and I'm sitting in front of Audrey's house. Normally, these kinds of meal kits would be delivered to your door, obviously, but because it was delivered to her and she's graciously giving it to me, I'm picking it up. I thought this would be kind of interesting to show you how I would cook it and follow the directions and what I thought of it as a chef. Hello! Hello. Come on in! <laughs> I have something for you! Woo, I'm so excited! Hey, so thanks for giving me one of your meals. Of course. So you said you had this one before? Yeah, so this is the this is the Memphis style beef meatballs. Ooh. Yeah, so they sent us a duplicate for some reason. Uh -huh. So I was like, I already know what this tastes like. Hopefully Julie will like it. Do you think that Lincoln will like it or is it spicy? I actually don't remember. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, so what did you eat it with? Well, it, it, it comes with everything that you need. So it comes with I think I think you put it on top of mashed potatoes oh okay and i think there's some some other like side dish too okay cool i've always wanted to try one of these things yeah. like whether it's from hello fresh or blue apron or well, you've tried actually all of those right yeah so it's I very have. similar mm -hmm. yeah well i'm excited to try so thank you so much you're so welcome yay all right it's go time and i'm actually really thankful on a day like this that i am trying out this meal kit and once again this is not sponsored but if any of you meal kit companies want to sponsor me, then holla. This happens to be Green Chef. I'm so thankful that Audrey is letting me use this because um, on a day like this, I literally only have 30 minutes to cook and it says 30 minutes cook time. And Audrey was wrong. <laughs> she was laughing too later on. It's not meatballs over mashed potatoes. This is a Memphis style meatball over like a Creole like rice. I went ahead and started reading all the instructions because that's what you're supposed to do. So I saw that what you need, there's a list right here. So I pulled out all that stuff. A small pot with lid, a fry pan, a baking sheet, large bowl, measuring cups and spoons, cooking oil, salt and pepper. And then the weird thing I noticed is that it says one tablespoon of butter. And for some reason, I don't know why, but I thought that it would come with butter because I've never had these meal kits before, but I just assumed it came with like every last bibbity bob. And if my kitchen's a bit messy or my angles are off or whatnot, excuse me, because Joe's on his way to pick up Lincoln from school. And I actually have been filming all day. I'm exhausted. This is my third video I'm filming today. On days like this, I am tired and I'm really thankful to have a little helping hand. So it comes like this, and then Audrey told me that the meat actually came packaged separately. So it's like that, and then it comes with this like little card with the recipe and some pictures. And although this does look yummy and kind of like homey, I think I might plate things a little bit differently and maybe switch things up. And here's the bag, nicely sealed. Here we go. Oh, that is so funny that it's like half bell pepper already cut for you. It's like they really don't want to waste their ingredients. What if I wanted more pepper? Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. I don't know, I think I knew that this is what happens. But for some reason, this is cracking me up, like two sticks of celery like this. Oh, a perfect amount of jasmine rice. So I might have mentioned that this is for two servings. Whoa, something exploded in there, like a spice exploded. Mm-hmm. This bag of spices kind of um, punctured itself. There's a hole. They give you a full onion, but when I read ahead, it says to use half an onion and then save the other half for another use. But yeah, here, Creole season all over that. Ooh, panko breadcrumbs. This onion you received is conventional. What does that mean? What's an unconventional onion? Um, some cheddar cheese, which 
to me doesn't seem like a whole lot. And then the Creole Dejeuner. Oh, that's interesting. I thought that I was have to, I would have to make the sauce. I'm kind of upset that I don't have to make the sauce. Veggie. Hello Fresh Veggie. What is this? I I don't know. Is this the same company? I'm so confused. I already went ahead and read that there's gonna be oven use. Anytime there's oven use, I go ahead and preheat that sucker before anything else. And the first step is to cook the rice. So that's what you need the small pot for. You're gonna bring a cup of water and a quarter teaspoon of salt to a boil in a small pot. Then you're gonna add the vegetable stock concentrate. Ooh, is that what that is? I think this is like bouillon or like sauce, you know, veggie stock to make some sort of like seasoned rice. But I think that's funny that it says HelloFresh. Maybe it's the same company. I need to do more research. Stir to dissolve, add the jasmine rice. You cover the pot with a lid, you simmer 16 to 18 minutes, and then you remove from heat. So they're just saying like, have the rice ready. And you know why? Because when you're doing the order of events of stuff, usually any kind of starch will hold its heat the longest. So it does make sense to kind of like have your oven preheating and get to your rice first. So I agree with that, that that's how you would start. Ooh, that is, whoa, there's so many beeps going on. So my oven is preheated and someone just texted me. So the next thing I like to do is to check to see if there's any mise en place involved. And right now, it doesn't look like that there's much chopping or anything involved for the meat. It's just adding seasonings that they already give you. So I'm just gonna do the, what they say, which is to assemble the meatballs in the bowl first. And then while you're baking it, then you can do the prep and the mise en place for the veggies. And then basically like everything's supposed to time out bring my baking sheet out. I got my bowl. And before my hands get all meaty, I'm gonna just do as it says. Whoa, that is super like umami looking. Looks kind of like soy sauce. My little rice, half cup to one cup of water. Okay, I'm gonna cover this. Back to meatballs. Oh my goodness, the spices are exploding. <gasps> Oh my gosh, you guys, look. The spices just fell out of their packaging onto the counter. I'm not letting that go to waste. Good thing my counters are clean. I'm gonna swipe that up and use it. You know, I should have known better. The chef side of me knew that I should have probably put everything into little bowls or ramekins or on a plate to make easier mise en place. Like, so I don't have to sit there in the midst of my prep to open all these little packages or have accidents like this pour out. So. I was just trying to do it the way that you're supposed to, it's like convenient, you don't have to wash more dishes than unnecessary, but this is kind of actually a little bit bothersome that I have to like pull everything out of packages. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that first and get everything out of their packages if possible. For the rice, the instructions is said to let it cook for about 16 to 18 minutes. Now in my head, I felt like for that amount of rice and that amount of liquid, it seems too long. So I cut it down to 12 minutes and put on a timer. But even still, that was too long. I could smell it starting to kind of burn or like it's overcooked. So I looked and I still had a minute left. So it only took me about like 10 to 11 minutes for it to fully cook. And you can see, cause your nose knows, that's just like our Skillshare class where you gotta trust your intuition and you gotta make sure that even if the recipe says something to use your common sense. So I saw that there was pockets forming and then the water was absorbed. So I turned it off and I'm just letting it stand. I wouldn't be surprised if the bottom got a little scorched. I think I might have saved it just in time. Okay, I feel better about my life now that some of these things are meased. So this is the Creole sauce. Um, and then here's that seasoning that was like all over the place. It says place the ground beef breadcrumbs, which is quarter cup, and a tablespoon of the Creole Dijonese. When I was working with Lydia Bastianich, a famous Italian-American chef who's on TV, she told me the secret to her meatballs, well, at least for her turkey meatballs, was to get white bread, like slices of white bread soaked in milk. And they are seriously the mo most moist and delicate meatballs that I've had. And so you gotta give that a try, but that's basically the same concept. About half of the Memphis style spice rub. So I will just eyeball that about half. About a quarter teaspoon of salt, kosher salt I'm using, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Just gonna eyeball it. Mix thoroughly and evenly to distribute breadcrumbs and seasonings. And with any kind of meatballs, you don't want to overwork it. You want everything to be distributed, but not overworked. 
Form the beef mixture into six to eight meatballs. So what I like to do is get one of these bench scrapers and divide it so that it can be even. There, so then you divide it up and then you can see six. So instead of four meatballs each, I'm making three meatballs each. So with that in mind, each of my meatballs are gonna be bigger and they're gonna take a little bit longer to cook. In go the meatballs. 12 to 15 minutes, so I'm gonna go on the lower side. We'll try 12 minutes even though these are bigger. Truth be told, I'm a little distracted and disappointed in myself because I just chipped my Kyocera knife. I banged it accidentally against my glass bowl and I'm usually very careful. I've had a Kyocera ceramic knife, a pink handled one that I've used for decades now at this point and I haven't chipped it and this is my first time doing it and I don't know if it's from like the filming or whatever but I just wanted to share this with you because accidents like this happen to the best of us, even me. I just wanted to share with you guys my sadness because that, that kind of stuff like really gets me in the feels. Like that's heartbreaking to me. So I'm trying not to be distracted, but I'm, uh, I think I'm totally distracted. So at this point, rice is done and it's just sitting warm. And the last thing I have to do is add the cheese and the butter that they asked me to pull out. So I'm gonna just cut that butter up. I think this is one tablespoon, so I'll have that ready. So one tablespoon of butter and cheese ready for my rice. I'm gonna do my mise en place with my plate. So I'm gonna go wash these veggies because um, I'm not sure that they were washed. So I'm gonna do that. Now, so earlier on I decided that instead of cutting it like this, I think I'm gonna cut the veggies into like very small dice so it just looks a little bit fancier um, and it's easier to eat instead of having all these awkward pieces. So I only need a half an onion and I'm gonna go do a dice and then I'll probably match the size of the onion dice with the rest of my vegetables. I like to trim it down a little bit, take off the white parts. Instead of cutting it into strips, I'm gonna just do a dice as well to kind of like match the look of the onion. The celery says to be cut into crosswise um, so it looks like this in the picture, right? But I'm gonna do it in dice to match the rest of the ingredients. This is kind of cool, right? Because it, there's yellow squash in here in this picture, but I was hoping that it wouldn't be yellow squash. I was hoping that it would be like a green zucchini or that the bell pepper was green because it looks like the overall colors of this whole dish is red, orange, yellow hued. And I like a little pop of green, like a real accent of green, not like the celery. Cause look, look how pale this green celery is, right? And I'm even thinking of taking out some scallions and cutting that too, just so I can have some garnish at the end. So they are saying to use the whole zucchini or squash and I will probably cut them into like a smaller dice as well. Okay, so that's my timer for 12 minutes, which is on the conservative side of how long the meatballs are gonna take to cook. So I'm gonna take a peek and look and see. Ooh, they're looking good. They smell really good too. So I have like one little issue with the way that this recipe is written because I was trying to see how, like what it should be, the temperature for the meatballs, but it doesn't say that, it just says, you know, to bake them for 12 to 15 minutes or until meatballs are fully cooked. But I'm like, why do you need a thermometer? Because it says to get a thermometer. Um, and that's the way I like to cook always, to check temperature, not relying on time. But then if you look at the front, the very teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny, tiny writing here, it says ground beef is fully cooked when the internal temperature reaches 160 degrees. It smells good though. Got my handy dandy Javelin Pro. So if you want a link for this down below, I'll leave it for you. This is my favorite instant read digital thermometer. Okay, so with everything, temperature rises and then falls back down. So keep that in mind. So this one, um, I believe is cooked because it's reaching towards 170. Now, did this meal take me 30 minutes to cook? For a normal day, for a normal person, Yes, I believe it can take about 30 minutes, especially if you're fast about prepping or if you have someone to help you, right? But I was so busy trying to like get the right angles and filming, so it's taking me a little bit longer, but I'm still almost done and Lincoln's almost home, so it's like timing out okay. So I'm gonna add in my onions. You hear that sizzle? 
over medium heat with some oil. And then the celery. So you're supposed to add salt and pepper anyway. I'm just gonna eyeball that. I think that's to taste. So technically the dinner is practically done because the meatballs are ready, the sauce is already made, and then the rice is already done too. Just gotta add butter and cheese. Okay, and then I'm gonna add the zucchini. Sprinkle with a little salt. The Creole seasoning, the what's left over. Okay, so I feel like I should also add that because of the Creole seasoning in the meatballs and in the veggies, plus the Creole sauce, it's gonna be a little bit spicy. So I didn't plan to serve this to Lincoln. So this is a portion for two, and only Joe and I will be eating it, and Joe's gonna pick up chicken tenders for Lincoln. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? That's good enough for me. I just tasted a zucchini, it needs more salt. One tablespoon. I think I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit because it kind of took me a while to get to this point. I'm gonna add a little water. Okay, add in the cheese. Turn off the heat. Cover it for about three minutes. And look who's back home. Guys, you're interrupting my flow. I almost finished. Do you have a good day at school? Yeah, Mr. Camera. Maybe daddy can help me finish this thing. Okay, so this is what the cheesy rice looks like after it's melted and I just mix it up, which I'm kind of glad it turns stickier so that I can put it in a mold. Okay, so here is the final result, and mine looks a little bit different. I decided to do three meatballs per person, not four, because I like odd numbers. And instead of drizzling the sauce over the meatballs, because there's not that much sauce actually, I decided to just spoon it on and nap it on instead. Dinner for two from Green Chef, thanks to my friend Audrey. What I do like about this is that it was easy to make and I feel like the results came out just like the picture and everything was portioned out appropriately and that there is more proportion of vegetable than there is anything else. I really like that. But I think it turned out pretty good and it smells really nice too. I'm actually hungry so hope I'm not biased because I'm just hungry. Mmm, that cheesy rice is good. Makes me want to make cheesy rice by myself in general at home. That spice mix has a good flavor and all these vegetables are like a little bit sweet. Like the peppers, onions, and zucchini. And I cooked it to crisp tender so it has a nice little bite. It's not too mushy. And I actually recommend dicing it up really small like this because it's just kind of easier to eat along with the rice. That pre-made sauce is good. It has a nice acidity to it and brightness and it's actually not really spicy. The meatball is tender and juicy, even though it's been kind of sitting out for a little bit. Good flavor. All, the, all in all, this is a really good, yummy, flavorful meal. And I would actually make this recipe again off of the recipe card or order this myself. This was really good and easy to make. And I feel like anyone else, can, anyone can make this, honestly. I recommend it. This is actually really good. It's yummy. This was Green Chef Meal, and this was kind of fun for me to do. So if you enjoyed watching this, let me know, and I'll do more series like this where I'm like testing out recipes, or maybe I want to test out like something from HelloFresh or something. And if you guys want to sponsor me, and you're one of these guys, let me know. <laughs> I'm always available. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Remember to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time. Bye.